Let's keep it short and quick. According to the theory of relativity, the faster you go, the slower time passes relative to others. So how much slower does time actually go? You can find the formula for this in special relativity, and surprisingly, it's not that complicated. It might look complicated at first glance, but in reality, most of the values are known, so you just need to plug them in. So if we're talking about a speed we're used to, like driving at about 100 km per hour, how much slower does time go? Converting 100 km per hour to per second gives us 0.028 km per second. When you plug in the speed and solve the equation, it looks like this. What does that mean? It means that if you're driving at 100 km per hour, for every second that passes for you, about 1.0000000000000004 seconds pass for someone outside. Sounds tiny, right? What about flying in a plane? Well, the speed of a plane is actually between 800 km per hour and 900 km per hour. But let's just assume a slightly faster speed of 1000 km per hour for simplicity. When you calculate it, you get 1.0000000000043, which means that for every second you spend on the plane, about 1.0000000000043 seconds pass on the ground. So, if you travel on a plane for 10 hours, you'd get about 0.0000000015 seconds younger. Congrats if you're a frequent flyer. If you fly nonstop for 24 hours a day for a whole year, you'd be about 0.000014 seconds younger than everyone else. Still, the effect is pretty minimal. So you'd have to fly a lot faster to see obvious time delay. If your spaceship traveled at 10% of the speed of light, the calculations would be a bit easier. It looks like this. If you plug in the values, you get this, and when you calculate it, you get 1.0050378152592. This means that while you spend one second in space, about 1.005 seconds pass on Earth, which still doesn't seem like much of a difference. But from here, you start to see a pretty significant time delay. At 30% of the speed of light, it's 1.0483. At 50%, it's 1.1547. At 90%, it's 2.2942. At 99%, it's 7.0888. At 99.99%, it's 70.7124. And at 99.9999%, it's 707.1069, which means that if you traveled for a year, over 707 years would pass on Earth. As you get closer to the speed of light, time slows down dramatically. That's what time travel to the future is all about. If you plot these values on a graph, it roughly looks like this because time doesn't slow down linearly with speed, but rather proportionally to the square of the speed. So how's that? You should be able to impress someone with this knowledge, right?